What is up? What is up? What is up? Welcome back, everybody. Ringwalk Danny joined alongside Bo Mason and Jahan Ingram in the studio. I ain't know uh, for a long time. I ain't know if it was John or Jahan, but when I just heard you tell him Jahan, I'm like, oh uh, no, that's I, what it I is. I definitely, I I figured it out when we got Otis in here because it's okay. like I had never like met you. Yeah. So it was like I seen you. Uh, what was it? It was a Floyd. You fought on a couple like Floyd exhibitions, yeah, I right? Too. So, you sparred him, right? You and yeah. Floyd sparred. You right. got him ready for what fight? The um, Don Moore. Don Moore. Was that the Dubai. first time? Was that the first time you you and Floyd sparred? Yeah, that was the first okay. time I met him. So um, you was there? No, no, no. But I heard about the sparring. Mm. So I heard about the sparring, and then um, you know, I saw you was on the card, checked you out. So I never really knew how to pronounce it. Then what? We got Otis in here. I'm you can't like, trust okay. what Otis say. Otis voice, he he don't pronounce all his words right. Nah, you know but saying? that's his. You, that you working he, with Otis, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's your, that's his trainer. So he he okay. gonna know. He, he gonna, gonna know. Right. All right, all right, all right. Yo, but I can't, man. We might as well get right into it because you already know what the hell I'm gonna bring up. I that video was, you know, circling all through the <laughs> through, through the internet and. You know, all we know is that we seen Roley, you know, get dropped again, and we like fuck. And then, then the next day they announced this fight, which I found kind of ironic. But yo, obviously we got Otis in here. You know, I want to hear your side, your, your version of the story of of everything that went down that day, and why was y'all going so hard and sparring? Well, uh, that day I worked with, I worked with Carmel. We did like three, three, four rounds. So after that, Carmel Moden. Yeah, Carmel Moden. Mm -hmm. um, after that. You know, it's always great work with Carmel, so you know it ain't no, no, no like we just bullshit. Right, right, right. Like that so, so after that, you know, I was really done for the day, and then um, one of the bullet guys walked in, small, small guy, and uh, he just wanted to move around, so I was just gonna work defense with him, and then you know some more bullet guys came in and bullet showed up, and when bullet showed up, you know he was just on that hot shit. Mm. So then he was talking shit. What you saying? Yeah, not towards me though. Like you know, you know, Jim talk. Yeah, him, Jim him talk. Him going okay. back and forth. You okay. Know. Gotta keep the Co energy coaches, up. coaches yeah. going that. All right. So then somehow I don't know how this part happened, but somehow you know him and uh, Antonio Zapata had, mm. had words back and forth. You know, just ain't nothing serious, but they end up sparring. Bullet so and I, Antonio. Yeah, I seen that. Yeah. I actually seen that footage. You seen? I still ain't because Bullet it ain't yet. had no headgear on, but right. I think Antonio did. Oh, yeah, he had his head grown. Mm. So I seen it. So uh, it's funny that you would think the head gear situation would be the other way around. Backwards, yeah. right? <laughs> so uh, after that, you know, bullet, you know, he was still fired up, still hot. So I get me and me and the other guy hop in. So bullet, he see I'm in there. He look at me. He was like, "Oh shit, who you want? Who you want?" So I took that as you know him him trying to play me like like I'm we got little, whoever for you. Yeah, like I'm a little dog or something. So I'm like, "Shit, whoever." So of course you know he go to his go to guy, which is Roly. So when he said that, like, like Roly get your shit on, Roly demeanor he had, it changed. It went from like the friendly to like like it's smoke now for some mm. reason. Like I, so I ain't understand that. So shit, you know I was just me. I I started popping my shit, talking my shit, you know. So round one to spawn. Round one, yeah. What was going on round one? Round one, you know it's a. Uh, Cause I heard it was a, I heard it was a ten thousand dollar bet it was. that it has was. that has gone unpaid, <laughs> and that uh you know I Otis said it's going to collections at this point I don't know you know, collectors gonna call It'll but come around. It'll but come I heard around. ten thousand dollar bet that Ro that you couldn't do three rounds with Roly yeah no okay so before that he he said he bet I can't do three rounds with Roly mm. but then when the sixth round came that's when I dropped in the sixth round. That the beginning of the sixth. So round. what was said after the third? When 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 you come out for round four, what the? Cause I it gotta be it gotta be shit being said. It was still like I can't really remember everything. Mm. I know he fight. We you, you, you was locked in. You was on. No, nah, I wasn't even locked in because uh. I already told. Like I told Bullet straight up. I'm like, this nigga, like no disrespect, bro. He can't it. box. You feel mm. me? So I'm like, I'm talking. I'm, I went to Bullet Corner. I'm talking shit to Bullet. Why he trying to hit me and he can't hit me? Like I told Bullet, like his guys can't fuck with me, you know. Like, mm. and what, is, what weight you fight at? I fight at one thirty. Thirty. One thirty. One twenty six. Uh. 
Damn, so you dropped Dan Roly about to fight at 40 for the title. That's crazy. Yeah, it was it like it was good work though. It was straight. It was um because at the first beginning of the round, like he can crack. He can crack. I ain't gonna count. You know, he called me with some stuff. You feel me? It wasn't nothing less like like oh shit, like you ain't like, get dropped, like, is what you nah, saying. Yeah, like nothing like that, but okay. he, like, but Roly can crack though. Like Yo, how long I say how long everybody was... I sparred, like he he hit the hardest. Who are you sparred? You know, I done work with Floyd, Kevin, Javante. You mean to say he hit uh, harder than Kevin Newman and Tank? Not Kevin Newman, Kevin, oh, Kevin Johnson. Johnson. Oh, Kevin, Johnson. Oh, oh, oh. Kevin Johnson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What yeah. about Tank though? He hitting harder than you saying Roly hitting harder I, than Tank? I say Tank Tank got that power, like you you feel it in the inside. Like you feel oh, it. Oh wow. But Roly his is more like uh it's concussive type power. Yeah, it's like when you feel you feel the pop, but it's not like it it affects you like how Tanks is. Tanks when he hits you, you you feel it after he hits you. Rollies mm-hmm. is like you feel it Man, for that he said, moment. He said it make you sick. Yeah, Damn. it touch your soul. He said you feel it on the inside. <laughs> yeah, it you make you sick. Inside. How you, how you get from Carolina? Like what brought you from? How long have you been in Las Vegas? Almost two years. So you just came here to box on your own? No, I don't. Cause I don't know. I have no, no. clue. I actually came out here on a family vacation, and. I wasn't going to bring my stuff, but they told me to bring, my parents convinced me to bring my stuff. Like your boxing gear? Or? Yeah, my boxing okay. gear. And um, somehow we got we got in touch with somebody at the gym, and I came, I sparred uh, some dude that was trying to get in with the gym, and then I sparred Dorian. Dorian, you uh, know. So you was at Mayweather Con. Box. At, at Mayweather Yeah, at Mayweather, yeah. So uh, shit, with, me and, uh, with me and Dorian working, that was great work when I first met him. O took a liking into me. And then it just went from there. You did, stuck did you ever go back? Yeah, yeah. I mean, okay. obviously, I, I came back. Oh, you talking about after the first day? No, nah, he mean no, no, go no, back I'm to saying, North, Carolina. North Carolina. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you pretty so much I didn't, stayed yeah, in so, Vegas. Nah, nah. So that was 4th of July weekend. So I went back. I, I was in North Carolina for a couple more months. And then okay. I finally had moved out here to Vegas. Man, I see your shit. How long you been boxing? You shimmering for? over there, bro. My, my, my little, my little like, junk, you over there shimmering. <laughs> You got the jacket. What I got to do to get one of those jackets? Because I see the whole money team guy. I got to be a part of the money team. Yeah, everybody asked me about these jackets. At first, I didn't know, but now I see it's multiple of them. Yeah, these custom. These custom. Okay. Yeah, Yeah. those fly. Those fly. uh, I started boxing when I was like eight, seven. But I was off and on with with, I didn't take it serious until I was like uh, 13. Yo, so I got to ask you because, you know, there's, there's this stigma about mm. the Carolinas and boxing. Right. Mm. You, you know, actually, right before you we came on, about it. we, we had Evan Corn with Top Rank on, right? Matchmaker, uh, PR guy. And uh, I told him, I said, yo, Evan, I done lost, you know, about 75 pounds. Shit, I'm thinking about maybe hitting the gym for a year and a half and getting me a little tomato can on one of your cards. He said, go to the Carolinas. He's like, bro, just go to the Carolinas. They said they pick people up off the bus stop and ask them, hey, man, you want to fight Saturday? I got Jahan Ingram. I got Michael Williams Jr. You <laughs> know what I'm saying? We'll give Bro. you $200. All you got to do is show up, put the gloves on, and be in the ring when the ding why ding. Is the it, ding, ding. Why, why do you feel there's a stigma? Do you agree with it? And if if so, are you looking to change it? Because it, it is. He it, already changed it. Like uh, like where I'm from, we got we got this thing we call it skilt fighters, cause this dude named Skilt. Same thing like you said, he come up to you, ask you, can you fight? But like I get you a new pair of shoes, some you throw you a couple hundred, you know you fight, take this fight. So um, that's that's it's, it's heavy in North Carolina. Everybody know that. A lot of uh, top prospect from North Carolina, you know, once they actually get a fight, they end up getting beat, cause all they fight is skilt fighters. You know they. They get 10 and 0, 15 and 0, but they ain't fought, fought nobody, fought straight bronze. I say it's. So Skip is a promoter there? Nah, nah, he just. Nah, it's just a turn. Just, just, okay. just, yeah. That's what they call him, you saying, right? Yeah, like, yeah cause like it's a dude, or dude, real dude named Skip. Right. That get, go get the fighters and he'll bring them. And, Shout um, out to Skip. <laughs> I want to talk to Skip. But uh, it's, I say it's only about four. Four of us, three of us that's actually like real fighters that can actually fight from North Carolina. Right. It ain't a lot. Uh, ain't can a lot. I get some some of their names as well? And can you move the mic a little bit closer? Right. Um I can't remember his last name, but it's Keyshawn. I, I want to say Horn. 
Okay. I want to say Horn. He uh, that's my boy. He just turned um, he turned pro around the time I turned pro. I think he three and zero now, four and zero now. Yeah, him. Um, we got Joseph Jackson. He out of Greensboro, North Carolina. I think he fifteen and 0, 16 and zero. Okay. And then I got another. I got a tough. Uh, nah, easy, hold on, I got an easy on. tough nah, question. I ain't got no. I ain't got no easy. You. I ain't got no easy. It's shit. regarding you. But it's, I, I gotta ask you though. Exhibition. I, yeah, you know. See, that's what I'm saying. We was on the same that page. Champ, how many more of these you doing? He don't like exhibition. No, no, you don't no, like no. exhibition. No, no, no. I'm asking you, how many more? How many more you doing? How many did they put me on? So, so, so you me, don't let me let me. It you look like they working out for him, bro. No, Again. no, 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 no. I'm just saying, right? Because it's always like, at the end of the day, I feel like it just depends, you know, what the ultimate goal is, right? How do you? Twenty two. He young, he young. So maybe the ultimate goal ain't to move too fast. That's why we sitting here talking, cause yeah, that's what I was just. You know what I'm saying? Say. Cause, cause. You know, I, I'm I'm in the gyms and you know I, I got I got an eye eye for talent and I'm gonna be honest, bro. What I seen in the gym of you, mm. I was a bit disappointed in that Japan when you fought the, the Japanese dude. But it's like I and I said it. I was like, yo, this dude not better than you. Yeah. But he really ain't want to fight. But because he ain't want to fight, now it it making you look like you not really. You know what I'm saying? Right. And I, and I felt like if you would have been in there with a if it would have even been the same guy, but a professional fight or just a different, another pro, you would have been able to showcase more and show off more because it really matters. So people going to care. Like whoever you got right. across from you going to care instead of just, oh, I'm in survival mode. I ain't going to get knocked out in this exhibition and that's it. So that's why I was asking you because, we, you know, we just had uh, John Easter. John Easter in here. And he, he was talking about, and I'm like, but how many? You know what I'm saying? Because ultimately, you know, everybody, everybody opinion different. Like we was asking, yo, what's bigger than him? Being on the floor at undercard or being Tank Ryan? You know, Tank right. Ryan, one of the biggest fights uh, of the last, man, decade, if so, not more. So, you know, that's why I just asked these questions because, you know, uh, people pull up your box rack and it's like, I know you with Davies and you didn't fall on them a couple cars, but it's like you got more than that. But obviously, it ain't gonna show up on box rack. Yeah. All right. So this is my my opinion input on it. How I feel about it. So the exhibitions is cool and all, and um, the reason I like them is because I don't got a big amateur background. Mm. So I only had twelve amateur fights. So it's helping me still get experience. And then like. I don't, the, you know, the Davy shows ain't nothing big like these shows. Right, so right, right. I'm getting that exposure under them lights too. And then, but like how you said with the Japanese dude, like it was like, I wasn't really taking it serious. Mm. Like I really, I only trained for like a week for that. I ain't even really trained for that. You was traveling a lot too, right? Yeah, I was traveling a lot, but the call, the call was kind of late. It, I wasn't sure if it was going to happen. So I wasn't really getting in shape for it. So I really trained for like a right. week for that one. So. It was more like it's cool, but like it ain't the same feeling as fighting a real fight. Like you know, you getting it, getting ready for a real fight. So let me ask you this: Is it now? Would would you say that was a learning experience? And is it now to the point, you know, where you kind of like staying ready? Yeah, yeah. So staying in the gym type thing. Yeah, it's it's um. Cause I I, I you be don't seeing, get out the gym no. I be dude. seeing you with Bobby. Really. I be seeing you with Bobby too, and I know I I know I know Bobby works his guys, and yeah, yeah you know I be seeing y'all working in the same with Otis, but you know I feel like you know maybe that that be a thing, man, cause you don't never know where you could get that call. Facts, yeah. So that's that's the other reason I been um like even if I ain't training in the gym, I'm always running. You feel me? Like I'm trying to you know make sure I'm still in shape, make sure I'm ready for you know just in case anything pop off. <coughs> I seen you. I seen no, you. Should. Like, um, can we like, get him a like water? I like guys? to get on. I got, got one. one. I got one. Like, I get. Oh. I like to get on the Garcia. I mean, yeah, the Garcia and uh, Tank. Mm. So, Yo, um, Lennon was at the press conference today. He was rocking a new beard and shit. Yeah, you better, I seen a, you better uh, call Lennon. Yeah, call, call, when last time you seen Lennon in person? Right before I left to go to London. Did he have a black or gray beard? <laughs> No comment. 
Because <laughs> I seen this. Nah, he shocked me today. He shocked me today. I ain't know what who he was at first. But when I seen it, I actually like it. Yeah. It looked good on that yeah, man. I didn't you know, know it was him at first. All right. I ain't know it was, I him, ain't know it was him at first, but when I seen it, it's a so good look, that, especially at this stage in his career. Uh, Yo, I, I know, um, obviously, you with uh, Davies and, and, and coming out that Mayweather gym, and so is Tabidi. Yo, just your, your, your thoughts on, on man, because I think I think so highly of the beast. And he's one of those guys that's been around for a minute, been at the top level and worked with everybody. So I'm just curious, is that somebody that you kind of, I guess would we'll say one of the guys in the gym that you take some maybe advice from or pointers from? Because, you know, you got Floyd, but I'm sure there's other fighters that you kind of look to. I don't want to say for advice, but I feel like we all got like mentors or people that we kind of like. They've been you, there. Yeah, they, you've been he, here before. He been so, you know, I'm going I'm to I'm kind of yeah, um, turn to you for questions or whatever like that. Yeah, I, I look up to Tabidi. Um, like out of everybody, I, I say Tabidi the one that started my professional career. Mm. He the one that got me in with Davies. You know, if he didn't get me in with them, shit, I probably wouldn't be sitting right here with y'all today. Like y'all oh, wow. probably wouldn't even still know who who I was or, or know or heard about how, me. How did that happen? He just like put in a good word or, or, or yeah, set so, up um, a meeting or how that how that come about? So they he had me basically I had to fight on one of their shows, showcase what I could do. Okay. They took a liking it to me and then that's when they uh I had got with them, got two more fights with them. I was uh actually supposed to fight again on one of their cards in December, but um I had hurt my hand in that uh that knockout. From mm. um, where y'all dude head almost flew off. Yeah, bro, that was and then a with nice the Dubai punch. exhibition, ain't making no better because you know that that dude, that dude had a hard head too. Mm. So any anything lined up? Have they given you a timetable? Like, yo, we might bring you back in the springtime or summertime or anybody or you. All right, so you no longer working with Davies? Yeah, or? yeah, I'm still okay, working yeah, with Davies. Yeah, 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 I mean I'm with still, Davies. Okay. Have they given um, you like you know? Maybe a, a time front, a timeline on when you might fight. No, nah, I haven't had nothing from them. Uh, but you know, I'm working with Floyd people too. Not just only with the exhibitions; they gonna be getting me on on real shows too. Right. So, um, you know, I'm just wait waiting right now. I know I got something in May. Okay. I don't know if it's gonna be a real one or an exhibition, but I know I have something in May. Got something in May. Well, look, I mean, especially with the limited amateur uh, experience. See, I ain't know that, so I'm but glad said, I asked. But you've been fighting since you was a kid, though. I right. actually seen some footage on, of YouTube on you. I don't know how long ago it was, but you were a kid in the ring. Like I don't know, if, I can't remember if you were sparring, messing around. You had the headgear on. Y'all, you it was someone else there, but I seen some old, yeah, old footage. Yeah, but still, the there, gym, so. st- like even though the the gym, bro, like now he able to get those ring ring walks and be under those bright right, lights. Right, right. And shit, you put it greatly. Like, if anything, you fighting on bigger shows now. So it's like, yeah. by the time you do get there and you, you know, you are fighting It'd be rare. your own shows, now it's like right. something you familiar with. Yeah, that's that's why I was saying I like the exhibitions. Plus, like, obviously, I, it, it's, well, it's been since October. Mm. I, October was my last, like, my last real fight. Yeah, it ain't been so too long. Yeah, it ain't been too long, but the exhibition's still keeping me busy. It's not right. like I'm You staying sitting. active. Right, right, right. right. Yeah. No, that's good, man. That's good. Hopefully, uh, you I, said May. So I also like the Montana Love, Pretty Boy Floyd type pad work and things like that because it does bring the people in doing stuff yeah. like that. It brings people in for sure that wouldn't ordinarily just watch a boxing fight. They may think a boxing fight boring, kind of like baseball. Right. But the in the gym, the more so antics and whatnot, it does bring people in as far as uh, following and fan base. You know well, what yeah, I mean? For so. Sure. I but see you, know, you doing some I nice fight, stuff you know, in outside the actual show. Yeah, because you packing a punch. I mean, I, 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 we've I seen it a few times. You got what three professional fights, and you, we've seen you knock down and out more people than fights you got. Yeah, yeah. So you know, but you know that that don't mean nothing until you wanted to like. It, but when it comes to building the fan base, oh yeah, that, definitely, definitely. Because that's more so what I'm speaking on right now. You're only three and zero, so obviously development and things like that before you get big fights to where everybody gonna be tuned in. But people tune in to Instagram every day, right? So and that's, and that's like another reason going back to exhibitions. I like right. that because 
I ain't want to move too fast in my career. And I see the way things going, like it's it's gonna be it's gonna be coming quick when I'm gonna be having to face other top prospects and stuff. So I, I like that I got time to actually train, but I still getting that exposure under them big lights. So it's not like by the time I get to that real fight, it's not like I ain't been under them big lights in a while. It's just you here as your family. Does your family stay here as well, or is literally just you? Just me and all them. That's kind of yeah. how it is for myself. So me and my old lady, obviously, but yeah. Yo, so, so how much you, how much you sparring these days? Like, how many rounds are you doing at this point? I do a lot. Like, I do a lot because I don't have a big amateur background. I feel like I have to spar a lot to catch up to so, everybody else. So, what's a lot? Are you are you still sparring the typical three times a week, just more rounds than you would, or are you sparring like on some everyday type shit? It it just depends, like. It depends, really depends on, oh, like I might come in, like we sparring today. Then the next day somebody might show up from out of town and I'm always the go-to guy because he know he can rely on me if he could give me the call or right, something, right, I'm pulling right. up. So um, it don't matter, like it's been sometimes I done sparred every day of the whole week. And sometimes I might spar like 15, almost 20 rounds in one day and then I'm done for the week. So. Why why y'all still be letting Otis get in the ring, man? I seen some footage. Otis in the ring. He still got the it. Yeah. Yeah, beating the brakes off yeah, somebody. Let me tell you, Otis was just in London looking beating, dapper than a motherfucker. He was yeah. ready to pull some 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 fine shit out there. Let me tell you, he had the little bow tie and a, Oh, you said you seen the pictures? What? He was suited he and booted. Play, man. Otis don't play. That's he what, was that's why I like booted. Otis. But you know, you know, once a fighter, you always a fighter. So he gonna die he, with he that, bro. He gonna be he that way for play. forever. But oh, just it's not like OB star and stuff. Though. Right, right, right. If you seen, it, the, I'm thinking you talking about the video that just came out with him on Spawn. I mean, it's an, is it another one? I'm talking about the one where he was, a Buddy had on headgear and Otis didn't have on headgear. Okay, that's the most recent. Okay, one, I think. like from what, I wasn't there that day, but from what I heard, dudes was talking, talking shit. Oh, yeah. So basically, like downplaying his training or whatever. So, mm. you know, oh, he had to show him, like, you know, just because he old don't mean nothing. He showed him too. Yeah. I been trying to get in. Oh, oh, he don't want to scrap with me, though. Nah, don't scrap with old, bro. He don't want to scrap with me. We got to keep him outside the ring, just on the edge of the ropes, though, and coaching, because I like to hear him talk that shit. Uh, is it motivational yeah. to hear him say what he be saying? Because he kind of got like the Calvin Ford approach more so, where he's speaking in a terminology where you're going to understand. He ain't going to be. Speaking so technical, right. ones, twos, X's and O's. It's, he gonna be like, get in his ass type uh, verbiage more so. It, it's 50 50. Okay. Cause, cause, so he you got know, O from the old school way. So yes, sir. it ain't like if me and you were in there, he not he gonna be talking shit about you, but he gonna be talking shit about me too. So it's it's like it's motivating, but then it's like, damn, like sometimes sometimes it'll get to you. you right. Me? But most of the time it is motivation. Mm. Well, shit, Jahan, we do appreciate you joining us, man. Uh, please give out your social media. Let the fans know where to follow you. Keep up with you, everything you got cooking. Um, and obviously, follow that journey. For sure, for sure. Uh, I always like to say this thing from Lil Baby. You know, you can Google me. So, oh. yeah, that's all you got to do. Yo, let me ask you. Did you know that sparring was being recorded? Yeah. So, that that was that's how I knew it was different. Cause me and before that, me and Roly sparred like, I want to say like three, 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 four times before then. And we don't spar a lot. We sparred like three, four times. And they recorded. No recording. No recording. So they tried to make time, an example out of you. This time. I think Yo. so. Cause this time his homeboy that I'm tight with was recording, right. and he ain't never recorded. So when I seen that, but that's why, when I knew something. But it's why no would, bad blood why would the overall, Mayweather is it? Channel, I don't on my end no. Okay, yeah, let me good. ask you this: Why would the Mayweather Channel post that? That's they what did. I found the weirdest. Out of everything. I did too. Cause now that Tank is I get it. Is no longer with Floyd. It, it's like is Broly's his biggest name. So it's like, why would they put their biggest name getting put on his so, ass? So from what I understood, the dude that ran that, I don't I don't know if he like I think that's just the, his channel name. I don't think that's like the real mate with the channel. Ah, uh, so it's Jeff, some, Jeff it's some dude that it. be with Jeff. Some yeah, dude the the, the yeah. big white guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So from like when I, because when I, I know seen he's that, a little I off. I'm just saying, like, damn, like, why would they post? What you said that was way off though, bro. Because then I was you know surprised. they went back and did, and it was right away too. Bullet right after. 
Yeah. Yeah, shit. And then that's why we got Otis in here because, like, I've been around Otis. So it was like, obviously, the video is only showing, like, yeah. a, a, a part of the story. So it was like, we wanted to get Otis in here. We got him in here so he could tell his side of the story because, yeah. you know what I'm saying? It's like, we got the video. Now, Bullet didn't spoke. Yeah, and it was like, Bullet well, was capping in that video. Mm. I don't know why he was capping so much, but he was capping in mm. that video. Well, well what well, happened uh, happened, so he had to, you know what I'm saying? Nah, uh, but he ain't got a cap, though. He ain't got a lot Definitely shouldn't cap. Yeah, because then I ended up watching it. He did oh, two interviews. Oh, I ain't interviews. see. I ain't know you, you said he lied on you, so I don't know nothing yeah, about that. He did two though. interviews and said we can sign a contract, so I'm leaving it at that. Mm. Mm. Well, on that note, on behalf of uh, of Google and <laughs> yeah, shit, y'all could Google me too, goddammit. <laughs> on behalf of Jahan Ingram, on behalf of Bo Mason and myself, Y'all know the boss man in Florida enjoying the fucking warm weather while we out here in the cold. Uh, catch us tomorrow. What up, YouTube family? Don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Help us get to that million subscribers. We're on the road to a million. And obviously, we have other great content on our Patreon channel. So since this video is over, head on over to our Patreon and check out all the exclusive content or right here on our YouTube members.